Hello, hello. Welcome to your week ahead. We're going to dive right into the themes. Spirit had something really creative in mind to go along with the predictions for this week. So stay tuned. We're about to get started. All right, my commitment to you is that this whole video will be done in 13 minutes or less. This is a snapshot for your week ahead. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm Delisa Hawking, fifth generation psychic medium and CEO and founder of Spirit and Spark. If you haven't been over to spiritandspark.com in a minute, go check it out. We have a free oracle message there on the website. And if you're looking for a session, we have amazing practitioners. And my calendar is also on there if you want to book a session with me. So um, we had a question of the week last week. I love uh, everyone's comments. I asked last week uh, if you could pick a candy or a candy bar that describes the energy right now going on in the world, what would it be? And there were some great responses. Um, there's going to be another question of the week. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up here in uh, just a couple of minutes. So there are four themes uh, for this week. Uh, before I get started, just a reminder, please give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. And of course, when we get to that question of the week, I'd love to hear uh, your take on it. All right. So here's what's different between last week and this week. Spirit wanted to give me a couple of songs for each theme that you could listen to or, to, or the songs may help you to understand what they're saying with the energy, all right? So I'm gonna give you the four themes. I'll give you the, the summary that I channeled from them. And with each one, I'll tell you the two songs that they said to write down. <laughs> I think this is so fun. Uh, okay, number one, are you ready? Comment yes if you're ready. All right, number one, for the week ahead, relationships are either building momentum or burning to the ground it feels very black and white with relationships right now you're either lining up at the chapel in las vegas or you feel like breaking up on a post-it note shout out to all my sex in the city fans uh so relationships this one it felt like you're either going to know your relationship is working or you're going to know it's not and this goes not only for romantic but all kinds of relationships work friendships family uh it's kind of like black and white energy so the two songs they gave for this theme is seasons of love from the musical rent love that song seasons of love it's like oh yes let's talk about love and like yeah okay <laughs> oh, they actually gave me three songs for this one. The second one is So Gone by Monica. Do you remember that song? Oh, I'd sing it, but I'm a terrible singer. I did not get that gift from my grandmother. Uh, and then Love Bites by Def Leppard. So Seasons of Love, So Gone, and Love Bites. Out of those three songs, <laughs> which one are you feeling like this week in your relationships? Um, because I think you're already feeling this energy right now uh, for the week ahead. So relationships, Whew. keep breathing, folks. Okay, next up, theme number two. There's a big difference between being assertive and being abrasive. For the week ahead, watch your tone and keep your boundaries in check while doing it gracefully. This is a key time to have courage and place importance on the relationships with ourselves. You'll reap rewards for your efforts in about two weeks when we come across the full moon. Okay. So asking yourself this week, okay, am I being abrasive or am I being assertive? Am I speaking from a place of knowing my words and knowing my boundaries or am I just being a jerk? Okay. So keep that in mind because a lot of people this coming week, I feel, are going to be very abrasive. Um, so you can be assertive back to them, but I would say don't try to match their energy. They're just going to try to pull you down. So what are the two songs that they have for this theme? And if you have ideas for songs that you think fit these themes, please comment and let me know. Okay, the theme for assertive versus abrasive, I Like It by Cardi B. Or SOS by Avicii. <laughs> and I know some of you are watching this. You're like, I've never heard of these people. I don't know what songs these are. That's okay. 
you can take note of it and go on to your favorite streaming service or YouTube and look up the songs and listen to them. So I like it. Cardi B, I, I think they picked Cardi B because I think that she can be very assertive, but people still generally like her, right? And then SOS by by the late Avicii. Uh, SOS, that just sounds like people that have maybe been a little bit too abrasive. Okay. All right. So those are the two songs. Let me know if you have an idea for a song uh, for the theme for assertive versus abrasive this week. All right. Theme number three. Time to revisit your to-do list, do your chores, and have patience. It's all unfolding in divine harmony. This, this coming weekend, not the time to act impulsively. Mind your list. Make your list and then do them and, and kind of stick with your list this weekend. Not a time to go rogue. This is not a weekend where I'd say, you know, go uh, throw caution to the wind and, and live, live out your wildest dreams. Probably not going to end well, Okay. So be productive. Don't be hungover this weekend. <laughs> All right. The two songs that they gave for this theme this week. I'm on fire by Bruce Springsteen. And I fall apart by Post Malone. I think those are very appropriate. I'm on fire, Bruce Springsteen, and I fall apart, Post Malone. So what would be a song that you would pick for like getting your stuff done? making your list and getting stuff done. Let me know in the comments. All right, and for our fourth theme for this week, focus, uh, the energy, the energy focus, I should say, will be around safety, security, and watching out for our own wounds, our own emotional wounds, and the wounds of others. Uh, are you too aloof or standoffish? Or are you too codependent on others? Are you wound up too tightly in your old wound stories? Uh, or are the people around you too tied up in their victim stories? There's not much logic in the air right now, so proceed with caution, which means that for the week ahead, it feels very emotionally big, and people aren't going to be using a lot of their logic. So proceed with caution. Do you have a guess on what the two songs would be for this theme? Theme four, the songs they're selecting are Bad Liar by Imagine Dragons and No Judgment by Nile Horn. <laughs> I thought it was so fun. I sat down to, to channel these and they're like, oh, we've got songs this week. And I love that because Spirit often communicates through songs. Um, you could be riding in the car or in a grocery store in an elevator and you could hear a song that reminds you of someone or a message that you need to hear. So pay attention to songs. Spirit often communicates through music and lyrics. Um, let me go ahead and mention a couple things we've got coming up. Uh, we, I don't know, I don't even know if you know this. So uh, all the sessions that are booked through Spirit and Spark, uh, if you have a session with one of our practitioners or if you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, uh, a portion of that goes to charity. And so we're getting ready to wrap up quarter one and make our donations to charity. Uh, I'm sure I'll send out an announcement about that. Uh, and on our website, we actually have the charities that we are uh, supporting uh, through quarter one. So thank you to everybody who's had a session uh, by having a session with us. You're actually making the world a better place. Uh, on April 12th, uh, an email actually went out this week. I'm teaching a workshop on really how to surrender and uh, let go of the negative thinking. So if you feel like you're just spiraling right now, or you feel like you're on a never ending merry-go-round, uh, the April 12th workshop would be a great workshop for you. So make sure you check that out. Uh, and uh, on the 13th, which I mentioned last week, April 13th, we have our panel event. Uh, myself, uh, Jacqueline Kuhn, Kate Wind, the astrologer, Nora Rochelle, the astrologer, all four of us are coming together. And uh, we will be discussing the upcoming eclipse season and what that's going to mean for the energy. So make sure you've got it on your calendar. Registration is going to be opening very soon. Uh, and tickets typically go quickly. So we'd love to have you there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The question of the week. Are you ready? I'm not going to be asking you about candy bars uh, this week. But I do want you to comment on this question I'm about to put on your screen. So pay attention. Here we go. Here is your question of the week. <laughs> I 
I laugh because it's like, oh boy, I'm asking you to give me a bit of your prediction. All right. So imagine we're all sitting together having a celebration. It's New Year's Eve. We're getting ready to go into 2023, but we're looking back at 2022. What three words would you use to describe the year of 2022? Now I know we're, we're basically in April. I know we're not even halfway through. I know. But take yourself to New Year's Eve. What would be the three words you describe for 2022? Put it in the comments. I want to hear. I read every single comment. Uh, so please make sure you include that. I'd love to hear from you on that. Uh, and again, just as a reminder, if you haven't subscribed, given us a thumbs up and commented on this video. We'd really appreciate it. It helps with the analytics of YouTube. So we appreciate you doing that. And just as a reminder, um, that free Oracle message is on spiritandspark.com. And remember, if you book a session with myself or one of the practitioners, a portion of that will go to charity. And uh, we love doing that. It, it makes us feel more connected to our community and the world around us and doing our part in, in helping um, some of these causes um, that are doing great work out there. All right. I kept it to under 13 minutes. Look at us go. Under 12 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and play our exit here. And uh, we'll see you back here next week. Do me a favor. If you wouldn't mind sharing this video with a couple of your friends, your family members, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it helps us to reach more people and uh, they get to know what's coming for the week ahead. So you're doing like a public service. Uh, so thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Make it a great week. We'll see you soon.